Yo, what is good everybody? It's S Crypto 101 coming to you guys with another video today. And today I am bringing you two money making plays over on the Pulse Chain. Now I haven't covered a lot of stuff on Pulse Chain before just because, you know, I was really focused on some other protocols. But at this point, you know, I've been getting that degen itch recently. And some of these really aren't degen plays. But what we know is right with crypto, everything is volatile. There is risk involved with everything. And as always, this is not financial advice. But as long as you have a strategy, and I don't know if people look at this, but this is something I actually hold myself to. This is a hustle nutrition facts. So something that you have to have is a strategy and a plan, right? Because when you get into these platforms, it's not all about, you know, degening out. You have to learn how to play these safely and you have to make sure that you're mitigating your risk and that you're only investing risks capital because we want to make as much money as possible, but we also do not want to wreck ourselves. So we're going to be talking about two money plays over on Pulse Chain today. One is going to be paying out 1% every single day. We already know how that works. And then we have one that's paying out some pretty, pretty crazy APRs right now. So we're going to take a look at both of those. So make sure that you stay tuned. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you hear that bell button so you're notified as soon as these videos come out and of course we're going to get straight into it so the first one that we need to cover here is pulse drip now this is one i am very very bullish on just because there is a lot of sustainability features that are in this that make it where hey we don't have to worry about those wells dumping as much we don't have to worry about people having so many max wallets you know i could go on with the list of things that we don't want in a one percent protocol now i think this is a good opportunity and i've talked about it in a previous video it's on pulse chain so there's a lot of price potential for pulse chain we know that it has not pumped significantly yet and we know that a bull run is pretty much imminent in the next couple of years so i think that we can definitely see some positive price action with pulse pulse x things on the pulse chain so that's why i wanted to get more involved with some of these plays over on pulse chain so this is pulse drip it pays you out one percent every single day yesterday was the launch for it and everything went very smooth at first there were some issues because a lot of volume came into the system and people are sitting there complaining and things like that but you have to understand the game right if you have a contract it is hard to anticipate thousands and tens of thousands of dollars coming into the contract and with pulse chain 2 there's still some room for improvement when it comes to transactions some stuff still takes a little bit longer than it should so there's still some room for improvements there but the team did a great job everything is flowing correctly there's some ui things that need to be fixed but the platform is solid so as you can see here on the screen i do have my main bag builder faucet here that i have started with 624 p drip so we are earning one percent a day and that is 6.246 p drip now with this one i'm going to either do a 5-2 strategy or 6-1 strategy still kind of working that out but that means that I would compound for five or six days and then claim for two or one days, depending on which strategy I do take. Because I think it's important that you do take profit on the way up as well as the way down, but that you continue to build your bag and you do not short yourself out of a good position. So things are looking pretty good here. If you wanna join the team, you already know how it works. I love building bags for other people as well if they allow me to do that. So if you want to join the team, feel free to do that. The link will be in the comment section below that's pinned as well as the description as well. So definitely check that out. They have the garden over here that is popping as well. So you can come over here and you can stake pulse and earn pulse at 1.5% a day. So this is a really good contract to get into as well if you are looking to earn pulse off your pulse that you have now. Remember it is a garden and with the faucet and the garden, whatever you deposit into the system is going to be locked and you have to earn your ROI in the rewards that you get back on a daily basis. So another good play over here and the price is looking pretty good too. So it launched, it went up to almost $14 and it did a little bit of a correction as we all know everything does. And it stayed pretty solid around the $11.31 mark. It launched at $2.50, pre-sale was $2, but everyone who got in pre-sale had to deposit their tokens into the faucet. So there was not any kind of pre-sale dump, which is great to see. So a lot of potential here. Price action is looking really good so far. And if this is, can just maintain this price, 
I would be completely fine with that, right? I don't need to see $500 P drip, $250 P drip. This is all about being sustainable, having a fixed price that you can rely on to gain 1% on every single day. And then we all know how great compound interest can be. So a great play here. Once again, if you want to join the team, definitely do that. All the information will be down in the description below. And then I'll continue to cover this as we move forward. So talking about another play over on the Pulse chain. Now, this one is definitely a little bit more degen, but like I said, you have to have a strategy because what I've learned with these, and this is a goose fork that launched today, you have to have a strategy. So what I have started doing with the goose forks, farms, and things like that when it comes to yield farming is I do not expose myself to the native asset. What I will do is I'll come in here, as you can see, I have P hex pulse X staked. Now, of course, there's going to be some impermanent loss with those two tokens, just as the price fluctuates up and down. So that's going to happen. But I would definitely rather risk that over, you know, some of the native assets. Now, what I am doing is I would take this Puma that is earned and then I would take it to the single staking pool. And then from there, I would stake and then gain some more, I believe, pulse. But the only thing with this one is they currently do not have the single staking or any of the native pools live. So that's one thing that they're working on. From what I heard, you know, this is something that is common with some of these protocols that came out. One to name is Daytona Finance. And we'll talk a little bit about the price action with that a little bit later. But as you can see, none of the native Puma pairs or the single staking is live yet. So I think that's a little bit of why the price action has been the way it is. But you can imagine once those things do come, it's going to take off from there, in my opinion, right? In my opinion. So if you want to get into this, the link will be down in the description below. But as always, have a plan. The APRs on this are super degen right now. I know it's not showing what mine is, but it definitely has to be above 36.5K, which would get me 100% every single day, just based off of the Puma that I've earned so far and based off what I have initially staked which is right over a thousand bucks. So doing really well so far. I'll continue to keep you guys updated on this. And the reason I was super bullish on this one specifically, because it's a goose fork. And if we look at the chart here, yeah, it doesn't look too great. It went all the way up to 22 cents and now it's rebounded down to six cents. But we have seen this before. And I think it is important that you do look at history, some of the other similar protocols and what they did. Not going to say that's going to do the same exact thing, but if we do come over here and we look at Daytona Finance, which a lot of people got in, there was a lot of big YouTubers who covered this one as well. You know, the price was pretty steady. It went down to like 0.008. Um, it started around 0.01. So definitely took a little bit of a dip all the way down here. And then you can see like after 10 days, it took off. And then if you go over to the right even more, it starts to make the left side of the chart look really small, which is good if you are holding. And you can see that it went all the way up here. And I believe that Daytona Finance hit a high price or a max price of like 40 something cents at one point. So what I am doing is I am holding a portion of my Puma bag so that I can wait for it to pump. And then I am selling some here and there just so I can take some profit and make sure that I'm earning back my money. Because as you can see in the pulse pools here, um, you do have to pay a 4% fee. So I wanna earn that back. And then everything after that is just profit. And this is a great way to earn additional P hex, pulse X, E hex, whatever kind of hex or pulse X or whatever other tokens that you might wanna earn. This is a good way to take some of the profit in Puma put it in a coin that you have trust in like these, not saying I don't trust Puma, but we know how these go. So you have to have a strategy and a plan. So that's what I plan to do. Take some profit here and there, a certain portion of whatever I'm able to harvest. And then I'm going to put the rest in the single staking pools once those are live and then just keep building my bag from there. So if Pulse Puma can even do 50% of what you know, Daytona Finance was able to do this. This will be a great play. I didn't get in on pre-sale or anything. I got in early, just like anybody else would have, of on day one. So 
two pretty good plays we have some great passive income with one percent every single day with compound interest over here on pole strip if you want to get in on the garden you're getting 1.5 percent over here on puma you're getting some super d gen aprs it has bottomed out in my opinion so this might be a good time to get in as always not financial advice this thing could go the other way it can moon up to 50 cents we don't know right i'm playing the game just like you all are i don't have any kind of inner insider information or anything right i'm putting my bag at risk so that i can build it and that's just sometimes what you have to do so i wanted to talk about these two because these are definitely ones i'm going to be covering over the next couple of days i'll keep you guys you know up to date on the progress of it and give you updates via telegram and twitter so definitely check out the socials link so you can see what's going on with these and then i'll continue to cover them in future videos as well all the links to them will be down in the description below if you have any questions feel free to leave it on the video in the comment section or you could come over to the Bag Builder Telegram and ask your questions there and chat it up with us because we always love new guests. As always, continue to support the socials. Like I said earlier, we have Twitter. It's hard to say X now. We have X, we have Telegram, we have TikTok, we have Instagram, we have all of those. You can find those at the social link in the description below as well. And then as always, we're going to keep building our bags, looking for more of these DGEM plays so that we can build up our blue chip bag because that is the goal. We want to get as many blue chips as possible using some of these different protocols and getting passive income. So once that next bull run is here, our bags are packed, we're good to go, and we're making some great money every single day day so with that make sure that you have a strategy make sure that you have a plan and make sure that you take action and as always we're going to continue to do what we do best and that is building the bag